Eight. Eight. I'm bored, y'all. Clearly. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Uh huh. Yeah. Why well, did you spend a hundred thou, bitch? <laughs> so we'll start. Start to explaining. All right. Chapter eleven. Ridgeview Prep. Okay. Let's see. Look. I know this looks bad. Will you leave us, Miss? We're trying to have a private conversation. Oh, bitch. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna leave, bitch, because I don't want to cut your fucking father off. She isn't going anywhere. What the hell does this have to do with your little girlfriend? What? Pause. She deserves to know what's going on first and foremost. Wait, pause. Fuck that. I'm not your girlfriend, boo. <laughs> she actually goes to Ridgeview. Uh, well, so he did this for you? What? Did he pay your tuition or something? Um, This has nothing to do with me. All uh, right, Killian? No, it has nothing to do with Dove. Well, I'm waiting for explanations. <laughs> Killian, okay, so what the fuck going on? I paid the tuition of a friend who really needed it and made a small donation to the school. What kind of friend would make you spend that kind of money on them? They don't know that, I, that I'm the one that paid it. Mm, who is it? That isn't your business. It's my money and it very well is my business. Right. What the fuck you mean? That ain't nothing. I can't believe what your, our, your arrogant ass, what an arrogant ass you've become. Really, bitch? I'm very disappointed in you, son. So who was it for? That wasn't very nice of him. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That was actually a very mellow reaction from him. Thanks to you. <laughs> If you weren't here, he probably would have hit me. What? So I guess I have you to thank. I'm sorry you have to go through that. Don't feel bad for me, Dove. I'm sure it's nothing compared to what you've been through. Bitch, what you trying to say, girl? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you think about that. It's okay. Yes, I've been through plenty. Well, I've been through some pretty shitty situations in my life. Which means I know what is, what is okay and what isn't. And the way your father treats you is not nah, okay. I'll be 18 soon and I'll be free for him from good for good. So, you don't need to worry about me. If you say so. Fuck that. Bring it up. So, uh, are you going to tell me, bitch, whose tuition you paid off? Are you sure you want to know? Uh, I kind of need to know. <laughs> it was Jill's. Jill's? Jill, why on earth would you pay for Jill to stay at Ridgeview Prep? She was desperate, Dove. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a fan of private schools, which is exactly why I don't go to Ridgeview. But I couldn't just let her get kicked out. How do you even know Jill or about her situation, right? How do you even know her, girl? Because she swore up and down she ain't know you, bitch. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Calm down, Dove. Shit. FYI, it's in your best interest to never tell me to calm down. It doesn't end well. Noted. <laughs> Will you just explain, please? Jill and I met a few years back at some party thrown on the rich side of town. I recognized her from a couple, uh, from a few corporate retreats. Her father and my father worked together. I decided to go up and talk to her. She was feeling me, and then, and back then, I wasn't a great guy, Dove. I thought I could use her feelings for me to get her to buy some pills. You're a drug dealer? Not anymore. I told you that I haven't always been a good guy. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? I've made some pretty stupid mistakes in the past. Okay, anyway. I got to know her pretty well over the next few months. We even hooked up a few times. That was unnecessary information, girl. Sorry, I thought you should know. I don't want to keep anything else from you. Were you in love with her? In love? Not even a little bit. She was a nice girl, but I wasn't really into her that way. So, how did you know about her situation now? Remember how I said her father and mine worked together? 
Uh -huh. Oh, well, he on the run, bitch, so you should know. A few months before it, everything happened, my father fired hers. He was suspicious about her father being involved in illegal activity. Next thing I hear is that her father and her father's entire new company had been charged with fraud. Then, <laughs> nope. I'll see you right now. Sorry. Mm hmm. That's fine. But watch you call right back. Um. Then I was just. Uh, pierced everything, uh, just pieced everything together and realized she was in trouble. You're not mad, are you? So, Jill has no idea that you did this for her. No, I told the people at Ridgeview to tell her that her tuition was paid by her parents before everything went down with them. And I cannot hear your calls, so stop calling me. I'm sorry, y'all. But this is only six minutes now. But can I really go back through this whole damn thing? <sighs> and I don't want her to know. Ever. Oh my. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to end this shit. Kid. I'm gonna have to end this shit. Okay. Oh. I didn't want it to end this way. I did not want it to end this way. You never answered my question. Are you mad at me? Of course not, Kimmy. Um, you're just trying to be a good person. I'm so happy you understand. Why would I? Why the fuck would I be? It ain't my goddamn money. You got shit to do with me. It's just a lot to take in right now. I understand. I should get going. What? Uh, we haven't even had our dinner yet. I just need some time to think, Killian. I understand. Can I at least kiss you good night? Sure. I think that'd be okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll call you. I'll call you. Good night, Kelly. <laughs> mm. I ended up taking the long way home and somehow ended up in Ridgeview's campus. I had to get out of there even though I didn't want to leave Killian. I just had to clear my head. It was just too much to handle right now. I was keeping everyone's secret in addition to having my own. It was all overwhelming. I couldn't tell Sean that Jill was having, was living in a foster family. And I couldn't tell Jill that Killian had paid for her tuition. I couldn't even decide if I wanted to be with Killian, let alone deal with my feelings for Sean. All I knew was that I needed to get back to Rose and crawl into my and crawl into bed. Okay, so let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, people. The next goddamn day. <sighs> I woke up this morning with a cloud of fog over my head. I felt like I was being weighed down by this invisible blanket of everyone else's problems. Right. Last night with Killian was a perfect night before his dad walked in. Then, um, when I kiss Killian, I feel as though I'm walking on air. On cloud nine, as people would say. But I also feel extremely self-aware. Like everything around me is um, intensified. <sighs> the lights seem brighter. The colors seem more br uh, vibrant. And I was <laughs> acutely aware where I was in comparison to the rest of the room. Um, I once read that a passionate kiss would make everything around you disappear. Uh, make you feel like you and your lover were the only two people in the room. It wasn't like that with Killian, and I didn't know how to to feel about it. Mm. Where other words, where others experience of passionate kissing, just is a um, mirage or a conspiracy about true love, or was it just not there with Killian? I'm waiting. 
I'm way too inside my my head about this. Clearly, Dove, come down for breakfast. Oh, bruh, like seriously, this fucking charger's gonna stress me out. Good morning. Good morning, Dove. You look awful. Oh. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted to hear right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. A rough night of sleep. <laughs> um, oh, shit. Wait a minute. Go back. Go back. Just got a lot on my mind right now. Is there anything you'd like to talk about? <sighs> no, not right now. Thanks for asking, though, Rose. Anytime, sweetie. I made you your favorite. I hope you like it. How do you know what the hell my favorite is? You made pizza rolls for breakfast? <laughs> I thought you might enjoy them. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. <laughs> now eat up. We've got somewhere to be. We do? Please don't tell me it's another meeting with Carol. I've had enough of that woman over the past few days. <laughs> it's not about Carol. Uh, I went to grab something out of my office the other day and noticed that you didn't have a lot of clothes. I like to keep everything I own in a duffel bag. It makes it easier to run when I need to. So I thought it would be a good a good idea if we went shopping together. You want to take me shopping? Stay gives me money to spend on you on spend on things for you, and I would really like to do this for you. Mm, what do you say? It could be really a uh, great chance. For me to get to know you a little better. Yeah, sure, agree, agree. Let's let's go. Okay, sure. I think that sounds like a great idea. Girl, what do you got on your drawers, girl? Why you ain't putting no goddamn clothes on? Okay, this is gonna be great. Go get ready, and we'll leave in about ten minutes. Can I at least enjoy my pizza rolls first? Of course you can. Enjoy. Four hours laid down. Rose, what the fuck are you wearing? Can we please be done now? Aren't you having a ton of fun? You made me try on dresses, Rose. <laughs> and you look very pretty in them. I still don't understand why you only let me buy one. I told you a thousand times I don't wear dresses. Okay, I get it. Ooh, look, a shoe store. Nuh-uh, no way. <laughs> Not going in there. You're the only you're the only teenage girl I know who hates shopping. I like what I already have. Well, I'm going in. Well, then I'm waiting outside. Fine, I'll be right back. Don't get into any trouble and absolutely no road trips. <laughs> you got it. You got it, dude. Okay. Oh, Jordan. Oh, my God. I don't think this is the right... I don't think this is the right time. What? That sounded like... Mm -hmm. I just don't think we should say anything until we're sure. I guess you're right. I feel so bad about not saying anything to her. I hate lying to her. I'm not very good at it. And Dove can read people so well. <sighs> I know that, yeah. Mm hmm just don't think of it as lying. Just think of it as avoiding the truth. <laughs> it's the same thing, Jordan. Well, you came up with something. Well, you come up with something better. Look, it's not going to be that much longer. Well, going to be much longer. We just have to wait so I can figure out exactly what we're dealing with. Fine, I can handle it. I know you can. I should get going. I'll call you later. Bitch, did my ex-boyfriend just kiss her on the cheek, bitch? What the hell just happened? Did I just see what I think I goddamn saw? Bitch, you's a good one, because I'd have been, I'd have walked my ass right over there in the middle of that conversation. Well, you can explain now, honey, because goddamn it, it's the goddamn time. They have some kind of secret. They, they can't tell me what's going on. Um, I should go over there and come, wait, should I go over there and confront Yana ass? Mm. Um, I want to say no, but then again, I want to say yes. Uh, hell yeah, let's go, bitch. Fuck it. Who the fuck is Yana, bitch? And I would like to... Yana, sweetie, get your ass up. Bring your ass. Oh, I guess she didn't hear me. But one way or another, I'm going to get to the bottom of this, girl. 
You ready to go? Yes, come on, um, Sarah, Rose, let's go. Dub, bring your ass, come on. Shit. The next day. Oh, yes. Okay, come on. Screen. Okay, there we go. People. She's beautiful and smart and funny. I still can't believe she agreed to go out with me, let alone on another date. Hello, Earth to Dove. Oh, sorry. So Yana's really at home sick. That's what she said in the in her text this morning. Why are you so hung up on where Yana is? I just need to talk to her about something. About what? About last Friday's homework assignment. Bitch, please. Well, now that you know Yana is where she is. Wait, now, well, now that you know Yana is for sure not here, you can focus on... Wait, can you focus on me? Right, of course. Perfect date with Sierra, right? It was more than I could have ever asked for. Dove? <sighs> Can I talk to you for a second? Oh, my God. Child, I hate him. Uh, one second. Uh, sorry, Max. Don't worry about it. I know Prince Charming comes first. It's not like that, Max. I'll talk to you later. Aw. You should have told him no, bitch. I don't like him. What, do, Sean, what the fuck do you want? What, did, what, what was that about? It was nothing. Just me being a crappy friend. What the hell do you want? You're not a crappy friend, Dove. Oh, my God. Girl, what do you want, girl? <laughs> it's hard not to feel like that sometimes. Anyways, why did you want to talk to me? Well, anyways, what did you want to talk to me about? I made a decision. Sounds interesting. I decided to break up with Jill. What? What, <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> It's something I've been thinking about a lot, and you can't break up with Jill. What? Why? As much as I thought of Sean being... Wait. As much as the thought of Sean being single made my heart beat out my chest, I knew that Jill needed him right now, even if she didn't want to admit it. She was losing her family, her home, and I wasn't going to let her lose her boyfriend, too. You guys have been through so much together. You wouldn't want to throw it all away so fast. It's not fast. I put a lot of thought into this. Why now? Why would you want to break up with her now? We just don't connect anymore. I already told you that I haven't been to her house in weeks. Maybe because she's living with a foster family and she doesn't want you to know about it. And it's driving me insane that I can't tell you because all I want to do is tell you right now. <laughs> Maybe she's just going through a lot. What do you mean by that? Do you know something? Uh, Try to catch him in a lie. Um, are you sure that's the only reason why you're breaking up with her? <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with what you told me on the train and then again in the damn, in that dumb field trip. That trip was not dumb. So, not the point. I have no clue what you're talking about. So, is he trying to pretend like he doesn't have feelings for me and he hasn't admitted them to a million, like he hasn't admitted them a million times? Whatever, I'm not going to push it right now. I don't need the conversation again. I just don't think right now is the greatest time to break up with her. Just try to talk, just try talking to her. All right, I'll talk to her before I do anything. Thank you. You realize you just defended Jill, the girl you called an evil bitch on multiple occasions. Maybe I just, maybe I misjudged her. We all have demons that nobody knows about. Look, I should get to class. I'll talk to you later. After school, I ended up staying in the library, so wait to get some homework done. Um, Everyone was long gone already. Or not. What the hell are you doing here? You don't even attend this school. Killian? Well, sure it took you long enough to get out of here. <laughs> what are you doing here? I really wasn't expecting to see him after what happened like the other night. We may have kissed goodnight, but it still was awkward. I may not have been expecting him, but I was happy he was there. I thought we should talk. And I was worried that this was the only way I could get you to talk to me.
you didn't want to call? <laughs> I didn't think you pick up. <laughs> Plus, I really wanted to see you. Okay, you're cute. I try. So, you're not mad at me anymore? I was never mad at you, Killian. I think I was just confused. Confused about what? You and her and your relationship. There's no relationship between me and Jill. Is that what made you leave so suddenly in the other night? I don't know. Maybe. You're cute. Don't use that against me. <laughs> so are you about to... Uh, okay, wait a minute now. You, you're my personal area now, sir. Killian took a step closer to me. And suddenly I felt a tingle run through my body when his fingers brushed up against mine. Killian was beyond attractive, honey. His dark eyes and caramel skin would make a girl melt <laughs> in her tracks. Child, I am so like weak in hell. Um, his eyes held mine and he smiled slightly. I felt the tingle again and my heart started beating twice its normal rate. Are you jealous, Dove? At this point, he was nearly whispering in my ear. I shivered. I went, what? A shiver ran down. Hey, shiver ran down my spine. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Was this voice seriously making me stutter? Clearly. I think you were. I think you're jealous of the thought of me with someone else. Um, okay. He was right. I didn't want him to be with Jill. Not now. Not in the past. Not ever. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did it just skip something? What the hell? Okay, whatever. You're in luck, Dove, because the only girl I want is you. Mm. That's it. I was done for. <laughs> I would do anything for that boy. What? And at, this, and at that point, my entire body was aching for him. Pause. What did you do? What? Okay. I wanted to kiss him and he knew it. She's bipolar. Kiss him. Shit, you want to, bitch? I reached up and grabbed his collar and pulled him into me. Okay, kid, shit, bitch, because apparently you can't resist his ass now. <sighs> I was in pure bliss. The feel of his lips on mine made my lips feel numb. Mm, he radiated sexiness and his kisses echoed that. Killian was no stranger to kissing and neither was I, but this, this was the most passionate kiss I ever had in my life. I wanted more. So, okay, she is fucking crazy. She's crazy, y'all. I'm sorry. This bitch is driving me cuckoo fucking bananas. <laughs> you want to come over? I thought you never asked. Let's go then. So, are y'all about to go do it or what? Because I don't have the time for, you know, this shit. You're so beautiful. Oh, he's in your room. What? Turn up. Take off your shirt. Okay, you got it, boss. All right, now. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Please, Rose, don't walk your ass in here. I just hope, like hell, Rose does not ruin my sex goddamn time, okay? <sighs> Killian slips me out of my shirt and barely breaks our kiss. Okay, all right. Okay, no, Rose. Please, Rose, don't come in. Rose, bitch. I don't have the. T oh my god. I just knew this bitch was gonna. Living room now. I just knew this bitch was gonna fuck up my fuck scene. <laughs> Rose is so irritating. She is so irritating. She's so irritated. And this is the last episode, ain't it? Y'all, we reached the end of the story, y'all. We reached the end of the fucking story. <laughs> Now we have to wait. Oh my god. Who likes to play the fucking waiting game? Sure the hell not I. Oh my god, y'all. So wait, is she telling Dove to come to the living room? Or both of them? Like I just, I don't know. Oh my god, I'm just... <sighs> this is too much for my life. Okay? As y'all can tell, this is too much for my life. I can't handle these type of situations. <laughs> I'm stressed out. Well, until next time, you guys. Until freaking next time. <laughs>